Okay. Okay, so without further delay, so welcome for the reflection and good evening, everyone. I am super uh, moderator for tonight's session. And actually the reflection is a discussion platform for use to inspire and share their knowledge to our audience, even though just a little bit uh, accomplishment or big accomplishment we can share in the, the reflection. However, for tonight's session, we're gonna discuss about the 2022 as the year of ASEAN youth and the youth as a future leader. And as you might know, the first ASEAN youth dialogue is one of the programs that coordinated by the year of ASEAN youth that announced this year in the line with the Cambodian 2022 ASEAN Chairmanship priority under the same ACT, I mean addressing challenge together. So tonight we are going to discuss about what are the roles and responsibility of Cambodian youth in a meeting and what are the challenges of the first ASEAN Youth Dialogue because it is the first time for Cambodian to host it as well. And what are the positive impacts of this event to use to our nation and also ASEAN member state, what are they? And lastly, we're gonna discuss about what the factors that can make Cambodian youth as a future leader. So Without further delay, today we are great honor to have two speakers from the ASEAN Youth Dialogue Program as well. Uh, welcome for Bong Seha, uh, the Deputy Director of the Department of Youth. And another one is uh, Tao Ching Suang, a Cambodian representative of youth, and also a senior student majoring international relations uh, at Panya Sasra University, we call PUC. Okay, so uh, without further delay, hello Bong Seha. Could you hear me right now? Yes, yes. I... Yeah, uh, let's start now. Uh, Bong Seha, could you please tell me what is the ASEAN Youth Dialogue Program? Uh, thank you, Sampai Jumri Psu, everyone. And um, uh, this is Seha uh, from the Department of Youth. Uh, let me allow me to uh, explain about the first ASEAN Youth Dialogue. I think everyone uh, is. Uh, clearly understood that uh, this year, 2022, Cambodia is the chair, uh, the ASEAN chairmanship, uh, is uh, holding ASEAN chairmanship. And uh, with that, under the framework of uh, ASEAN uh, social, uh, social cultural community, which is called uh, ASCC, the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sport has initiated uh, uh, the, the ASEAN leader statement on the year of ASEAN Youth 2022. With that, to celebrate and uh, to contribute to uh, the Cambodia ASEAN Chairmanship and the year of ASEAN Youth, uh, we uh, carry out four youth-led uh, program. The first one is uh, the first ASEAN Youth Dialogue, the one we are discussing now. Second one is the sixth uh, ASEAN Youth Video Contest, which is the annual uh, program for ASEAN. Uh, the third one is the uh, ASEAN Youth Photo Competition. And the last but not least is ASEAN Youth Debate. Actually, uh, the first ASEAN Youth Dialogue was initiated in uh, 2019 during the summit, uh, the ASEAN summit in uh, Lao PDO. And uh, Cambodia was honored to uh, receive, uh, to uh, conduct, to carry out the first batch of the first ASEAN Youth Dialogue. Uh, and some that prime minister himself was the one who received uh, to host the program during that time. And due, due to COVID-19, it was delayed uh, since uh, 2020, uh, 2020 until uh, today, uh, 2022. That's, I can uh, elaborate, thank you. Uh, okay, thank you, Bong. Uh, you have mentioned about that we have four programs that Cambodian will host uh, this year as a chairmanship. So, but what is the main objective of the first ASEAN Youth Dialogue, Bong? Could you tell us? Uh, well, uh, let me say uh, the overall uh, objective of the program is to mainly transform Jews, ASEAN Jews, 
from being uh, the beneficiary into the stakeholder in the policy making process. And in such, uh, we are carrying out the first ASEAN Youth Dialogue to provide a platform for ASEAN and Republic of Korea, the youth from ASEAN and the Republic of Korea to engage in a poli uh, policy discuss, uh, to discuss about the matter, the common issue that are happening uh, currently. And then uh, they will have the dialogue, the opportunity to, to have the dialogue with the uh, AMS, uh, which is called ASEAN Member State, US Minister and other high level uh, partner. And second one, we, uh, the, the, the second uh, objective is to cultivate uh, ASEAN uh, Jews of the ASEAN and the Republic of Korea in terms of uh, the IO 4.0 and to promote ASEAN uh, Korea Jews Network. Oh, okay. Uh, thank, thank you, Bong. Uh, actually, uh, the program uh, gonna have like uh, 150 delegates, as I know, uh, they from uh, uh, the Republic of Korea and the ASEAN uh, count ASEAN member state. So, uh, move back to uh, Ching Suang. Ching Suang, are you here right now? Yes, Bong. Yes, I'm here. So, how do you feel? After you are selected, being one of the five Cambodian representative youth to join that program. Um, yes, Bong. For me, I'm very excited to be one of the youth who can um, represent Cambodia to joining uh, our upcoming dialogue. Since I know that this this is a rare opportunity to show uh, Cambodia greatness on the international stage in the regions as um, a chairs of Asia. A chairs of Asian, and if I were to miss this opportunity, it might take me 10, uh, 10 years long to wait for Cambodia to host this event again in our countries. So wow. now, so you have to wait uh, for 10 year. more years, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, if I were to be miss this opportunity, but uh, now I really appreciate it that I have got these opportunities, and I will try my best for. Um, the upcoming dialogue. Yes. Ma yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But uh, Ching Song, uh, actually, what? Uh, how do youth voice uh, will be heard to the ASEAN member state uh, during the meeting? Can you tell us? Yes, Bong. So uh, during the dialogue, we will have um, we will gather the youth representative among the um, ASEAN member state and the youth from the Republic of Korea together, we will uh, group up and discuss on a specific topic that related to the uh, fourth industrial revolution, as well as the uh, challenges and issue in the region. After we discussing that, we will try to uh, find a solution and make uh, a draft on the strategic policy recommendations. Um, and on the last day oh, of oh, the okay, thank you. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, because maybe the internet is stable or stability. Uh, back to Bong Seha. So uh, the dialogue uh, with the SIM is about the use in the era of the four industrial revolution. It means opportunity, challenges in the post-pandemic recovery, uh, recovery. So, but Bong, uh, could you tell us what is the main uh, topic or what is going to talk about? Could, could you elaborate about that, Bong? Uh, well, actually, the main theme is like you just mentioned earlier, uh, use in the era of the post industrial revolution opportunity and challenges uh, in the post uh, pandemic recovery. Uh, but like uh, Ching Swan also mentioned, uh, we will uh, they will break into uh, different groups and they will discuss on different theme like uh, topics. Like they will have eight group. One is for uh, the governance. Uh, two is about science, technology, and innovation. Three is about future work, both uh, in, uh, infrastructure and connectivity. 
five inclusive and sustainable growth and six uh, six uh, climate change movement seven uh, narrowing down development gap among asian member states and so on and so forth and that's the the, the topic that the jos delegate will have to discuss uh, to to make uh, a strategic uh, policy recommendation for the minister but um, uh, along that, we also have other session, uh, which is called as in uh, talk, uh, also high level panel discussion, which will uh, contain uh, many topic. For example, among the uh, speaker, one of the speaker in the high level panel discussion, uh, there will be Excellency Dr. Hong Chun Arong, Minister of the uh, Education, Jewish and Sport of uh, the Kingdom of Cambodia. He will uh, uh, discuss about the uh, speak about the uh, the so called intergenerational uh, solidarity uh, for uh, for our. So in all, it means that uh, there are many uh, uh, subtopic uh, in in the dialogue. Yes. Yeah, so, so a lot of topic and uh, we have age topic as well. So how yeah. about uh, Kim Suang, uh, which topic that you're gonna hold or uh, responsible? Uh, on that area, we are not deciding yet, but we will do it in the our first uh, phases, the virtual pre-departure programs. Maybe the organizing committee will provide us uh, the, spe the, the specific topic that we will hold uh, on the even day. So, so until now, after you selected to be one of the representative of Cambodian youth, what you have done in terms of to prepare for the upcoming uh, discussion? Uh, yes, Bong. So before the event, so far, I and another four of Cambodian representatives have been teamed up together, work on a specific topic that related to the theme of the program. And we have already got a few trending together regarding of a uh, group discussion, uh, presentation, and as, uh, as well as the cultural performance. And during the event, uh, I think we, I will have to join with uh, other youth representative from the other country in the region, as well as from the Republic of Korea to address uh, the issues or challenges which were, uh, which we are facing today in the regions and we are trying to find the solution together. So, 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 Ching Song, have you experienced to join like the ASEAN meeting, something like that, or the international platform? Oh, uh, for the uh, type like this type of meeting, this is my first time ever in life that I can join um, ASEAN meeting with all so, the... So are you, are you concerned or worried about uh, the upcoming program that uh, your uh, English language or something that you're going to meet a lot of potential uh, candidate from uh, the Republic of Korea and also other ASEAN member states and also meet for meet with the, the, the minister as well. So are you worried? Yes, I'm, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> but uh, yes, I, I will try to be well prepared because I know that um, everything will have its, uh, its own challenges. And I believe that with our challenges, we would never know what we can do and we would never know how we can develop ourselves. So uh, I am be ready to get uh, the challenges to go through the uh, life-changing experience. Yeah, oh, that, that's great. Uh, bon, bon say hi. So uh, in terms of making uh, those five uh, Cambodian used to be a great speaker or the great uh, representative uh, in the upcoming event, so what you have done for them? Well, uh, actually, uh, like Jing Suong just mentioned, we have been, uh, we and the, the working group have been carrying out uh, uh, the, uh, the so-called training for them. Uh, so far, we conducted like uh, five training session, and we break them into uh, uh, like we, uh, we we break them. They will have the uh, responsibility to to conduct some uh, study research, self-study research, and then they will have to uh, do the presentation regarding the A topic and uh, the one I just mentioned. And yeah, that's, that, that's all we can, we can uh, help uh, them to prepare for the event. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, so back to our audience, if you have any question, uh, you can drop in a comment and we will answer at the end of uh, our discussion. Uh, Chi Song and Bong Seha, uh, the word is used as the future leader. So how uh, do you agree with this word and why, Bong Seha? Okay. Yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, it's reminding me, uh, I was one told by a friend, a very much older friend. He said like, in 10 years time, things will be changing. So you have to be prepared, you have to be ready, you have to be capable, like the 21st century skill, you have to have those criteria, 21st century skill, soft skill, communication skill, hard skill, the knowledge of new technology, the knowledge, the new knowledge, and also you have to understand the new context. And, and also uh, that's why uh, the Ministry of Education has launched the uh, long life learning policy for like everyone to study for your whole life. Uh, and that, you know, uh, and back to the story. Uh, so just in 10 years ago is different from just in the present time. And for those, who are not keeping up with the knowledge, with the technology, with the update, they will fall behind instantly. And you may notice, and correct me if I'm wrong, there are many capable Jews being elected and promoted to be the leader in different position at the ministry level. And the status quo will continue to change. Just today, we need to rise up to become the future leader, to address the common issue for the peace building and prosperity of the region. So those criteria, they have to have like confident, 21st century skills, soft skill, hard skill, knowledge about new technology and contact. They have to go to, to understand, they have to, uh, to know, uh, to, to have those skills. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Bong, Bong, you have mentioned about the attitude and also the hard skill and soft skill that uh, how this soft or how this skill can contribute or, or promote uh, the youth to be a future leader, but how? Oh, well, I will just give you an example. Like if you have the knowledge and if you have the hard skill, like the hard skill, you may understand the skill, the major that you are in. But for example, if you don't have the communication skill, like your attitude is a bit rash, is a bit, you know, uh, in 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 unacceptable uh, manner. You cannot work with other people. Teamwork is very necessary in this situation. You cannot work alone. Like what, like people said, uh, if you want to walk fast, you walk alone. But if you want to walk far, you have to walk uh, together. Okay, uh, if you want to walk fast, walk alone. If you want to walk fast, walk together. Uh, thank you, Bong. Uh, let's move, move back to uh, Ching Song. Ching Song, how do you think about like Cambodian youth nowadays? How do you think about their attitude, about their manner, also their skill as well? Um, I think that youth today is very lucky. And because we are having a better condition that youth in the uh, out, uh, than used in the past because now we have um, a good condition to access to uh, the education both physically and online virtual platform and we have uh, the condition to ac easily access to uh, the um, sources from the governments or the uh, private companies so I think youth today is very lucky so uh, we need to be improve ourselves to be uh, as um, the future leader to embody the next generation and lift the prosperity to uh, our society. Yeah, you, you, you speak like uh, you uh, today are very lucky, uh, like you are too old, like you born in the, 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 the old generation. <laughs> It is okay. Uh, so, but uh, in terms of a lot of youth nowadays, they try to upgrade their skill in terms of the knowledge, attitude, and also uh, their skill as well. But there are few uh, youth uh, that 
they still uh, have a lot of obstacle or challenge or barrier. So what kind of barrier that you have recognized that cannot or prevent them to be a future leader? Can you rest a few things, Bong Say hi. Uh, well, uh, of course, uh, the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sport have noticed uh, the barrier, like you mentioned earlier, for uh, youth uh, in Cambodia as a whole, like because we have youth uh, in the suburb, youth in the urban area, youth in the remote area, they are in different condition. And it's very difficult to some time to you know uh, uh, to to satisfy them all at the same time as we are the developing country and we have very limited budget mostly we we depend on the uh, the donor uh, and in this that's why uh, the ministry have set out uh, a directorate general uh, of use and among the uh, uh, under that we also have. Under the Directorate General of Youth, we have a, a Youth Center Department and we have Department of Youth who, like Department of Youth will, will take care of the, uh, uh, the student, the youth in, in, in school system, in the system. And for the Youth Center Department, they will take care uh, of uh, youth that are not in school, like uh, youth that are dropped out or uh, they cannot have uh, 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 how to say opportunity to get into a proper school, and also we have a a, a system, a program called BIP, called BIP, and this program is trying to encourage uh, the dropout to reinstate in school, so that they can have a a, a certificate at a, a specific level that they can you know, pursue uh, their study and also to pursue uh, uh, their career. And like, like I mentioned, just we have different type like from the uh, urban wherever they can have more opportunity uh, with education. And uh, some people from uh, just from the remote area, they have uh, less, not that they don't have the opportunity, but they have less opportunity to get into education uh, education system. Yeah. Oh, uh, thank you, Bong. Uh, you have mentioned like uh, Ministry of Education, especially the Department of Youth uh, will take care of youth. So I may not be lonely uh, because uh, they are still uh, they take care of me as well because I'm also a youth, right? <laughs> Yeah, we we are we are trying to take care of them all, but like I mentioned earlier, with the limited uh you know uh, resource, uh, we we are trying to carry out uh, as much as program as much program as possible to give them the opportunity. Like for example, at the youth center department, they have carry out some uh, uh vocational training session like uh, sewing like uh. uh uh, carpeting and so on and so forth and for uh, the department of youth we focus on the the program that provide the opportunity for youth uh, in school to 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 uh, strengthen their their uh, capacity for example national youth debate youth 21 program i think you realize uh, you understand clearly about the national youth debate you've been in yes, the because uh, i was a mentor as well yeah, yeah, yeah. So those those program, program we we design uh, uh, to you know to have use in different uh, section. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, back to Ching Song. Ching Song. So have you recognized some uh, behavior or use nowadays that can affect or prevent them uh, becoming a future leader? Um, I can say that uh, the most challenges that you have faced nowadays is. Uh, the lack of confidence. I I can see that um, nowadays we have a lot of opportunity for you to build up uh, ourselves to be uh, a good future leader. But uh, there are many of you who are who are lacking of confidence. They think maybe they think that they will not enough yet to apply for the the opportunity. So um, this is one of the problem <coughs> that uh, is it's a kind of barriers that prevent you to become a better of future leaders. Yeah. Okay, so uh, actually uh, there is some, uh, some, someone that they mentioned that uh, 
uh, just nowadays they try to blame uh, the society. They try to blame the government after they graduate from university. They still don't have any job, and they blame too many people outside. So how do you think about that? Like for example, like uh, only Xai, uh, yeah, to uh, Xai Knike, yeah, some something like that. Uh, only their 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 party only partisan. So if we are from the poor people or poor family, we cannot becoming a great future leader. How do you think about that, uh, Ching Suang? Um, for my perspective, um, I don't know that how uh, where the, the the ideas come from, but from my perspective, um, maybe the idea is um, it's not really um, makes sense for me because if we were like, if we were work hard enough to uh, achieve our uh, to to achieve our future goal then um i think it's not it might not be hard just to uh, find a job or to um after you get your ed you can find a job and um to survive yourself in the society but regarding to something like networking or um that uh, Wong had said, like, Sai, <laughs> yes, uh, I think that... Yeah, they call nepotism. Yeah, nepotism, yes. Um, I think regarding to this problem, like, yeah, we still can see, but it is, uh, we need to know that um, we, as the youth, we need to try to build our connection, to build network. We are not sitting, we are not living alone. So the connection is very important, like, us not uh, like me joining this uh, first Asian youth dialogue. I have the opportunity that to uh, strengthen the connection and more networking with others, Asian youth delegates, as well as from uh, Republic of Koreans. So this is also called that um, one kind of networking, one kind of the connection that I can, that can be benefit from my future careers or um, my future development, I can say. Yeah, thank, thank you, Bong. Uh, Bong Seha, anything to add, Bong? Yeah, sorry, I was muting myself. Uh, to me, I fully agree with uh, Jing Suang in this term because, uh, yeah, of course, we cannot say that in Cambodia there's no nepotism issue. But the thing is, whether everything have to start within yourself. Like, you know, uh, sometimes, for example, uh, the ASEAN program, the four I mentioned earlier, uh, just themselves, they said they need the op opportunity. They haven't been given opportunity. But then when we are trying to reach out to them to give them opportunity, they back off, they back off. And then they keep blaming that, oh, this, that, because of the government here and that. Sometimes I just try to uh, pinpoint to balance, like there's no, uh, there's no uh, one side fit all. And we cannot satisfy all use. Like I said, use in diff they have uh, in many different situation. But if from within you have determination, you have commitment, to improve yourself. For example, Sompei, yourself, you're starting with the volunteer at the Department of Youth, at the Directorate General of Youth. But you can, then you can, you keep improving yourself, you move on, you work hard, and then you reach your level. Now you, uh, you work at the Cambodian nest. Is it nepotism happening to you? No. Yeah, that's why. We need to pinpoint the things that, what is what is what? You cannot just say, oh, okay, all the thing is because of them. But sometimes you have to go to the mirror and have the reflection. Is it really happen because of them? Or is it you are not trying hard enough to become who you you going to be or who you want to be? Yeah, that's, what, that's all from me, thank you. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you, Bong. Uh, yeah, we have the audience. Uh, Pot Kolka. Uh, he have the question. Like uh, right now, are Cambodian youth ready to challenge with the ASEAN opportunity, and why? Again, right now, are Cambodian youth ready to challenge with the ASEAN opportunity, and why? Uh, could uh, Bong Sehan can you tell us? 
Yes, uh, to me, I would say yes, because I've been in touch with them. I've been working really close with them through the training, through the meeting and communication. And I see that uh, they are really uh, smart and dynamite. You can see Ching Suang here and other four uh, as well. They're really dynamite. Mm -hmm. And they are proactive as well. Sometimes you have knowledge, but you're lazy, of course. It, 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 it's no use. But when you have knowledge and you are proactive, sometimes they keep asking me, you know, Bong, can you have, do you have any, uh, you know, uh, topic recommended for me to read, to prepare for the event and so on and so forth. Something like this. It's really, you know, I can see that this sign is really a positive sign and I'm optimistic that they are ready for the challenge at the uh, uh, international level. And, you know, I'm back to Ching Song, what she was mentioned. Confident is very uh, important. Uh, you know, just nowadays, actually I've been through myself. I was in the shoe before. We have sometimes, you, we have to break the ice. Cambodia use is very smart, but very shy as well. We have to break the ice. We have to be more confident. Have you ever feel that when you are attending a uh, uh, class with a friend friend, when the teacher asks question, actually you have, you have the answer in your mind, but sometimes you feel that, oh, maybe my, my, my answer is not good enough. My answer is not correct or it's too silly to, to answer the question, but then you back off. But your friend, like, like for example, from Philippines, Singapore, of course, they raise, uh, they raise their hand and they come up and, and answer the question. And then you realize, actually, the answer was not that different from us, sometimes even less um, substance than us. So what I'm trying to pinpoint here is that we are too shy. Our tradition is too shy. Too shy. Our, our youth need to break this ice. We need to break this ice to be more confident, to be more dynamic. And also another thing is uh, you have to be uh, more considerate as well. Like not everyone had the same luck as you to join the program. Yeah, yes, but, but uh, uh, I suppose uh, Goloka, he mentioned about the ASEAN opportunity. He might refer to the, uh, the job market or the digital market and especially in terms of the education. So will or Cambodian have enough ability to, to catch off uh, those opportunity from the ASEAN uh, competitions, uh, competition, yeah, Bob? Yeah, I think so, uh, because now our education system is improved or, and reformed uh, into uh, a high level, higher level and into a standard one. And we have uh, also uh, digital center, we have upgrade our system and so on so forth to improve our uh, jobs. And for me, myself, I'm handling uh, the international uh, affair at the Department of Youth. And I, I have sent out uh, a lot of uh, youth to the international uh, program uh, during this uh, period of time, like this last two years of, of time. And they are really capable. Our because of our curriculum education system has been reformed and, and it's uh, uh, improving our uh, student capacity and we can challenge with the uh, uh, other as in uh, yours. Yes, of course. And for your information, we are having as in yours debate, like I mentioned earlier, our student, our candidate are very capable and very, they're, they're very smart and influ uh, influent in English, and they will uh, uh, they stand ready to compete with the uh, other country that they have uh, English ad as their mother tongue. You know, just for your information. Yeah, I hope to see uh, the, the the amazing and fruitful uh, program upcoming. Uh, so, how about Jin Song? Uh, do you think an ASEAN uh, Cambodian can compete with the ASEAN uh, youth? Um. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, my opinion is like Wong Ti Ha has said, we like um, for me, I am ready to uh, join the dialogues and mm -hmm. uh, to work together to have the discussing and study together with uh, Asian youth. Yes. 
and I think it is not hard if it if we have uh, put enough our effort into uh, what we are doing. I can say yes. Yeah. So so, but for you, uh, for 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 you, so have uh, are you believe? Uh, do you believe yourself that you can compete with the other ASEAN member state? Uh, for the term compete is we really like, uh, it's very <laughs> like um, so aggressive. But let's say yeah. that we are working together. <laughs> so uh, yes, I I think I can work uh together well with them because we as as the youth between age of eighteen to thirty five, we have the same uh like age gap, and we know uh what youth like and what are the challenges of youth are facing today so i think that topic will um goes really well together when we met and we are we will uh easily to get to know each other well and cooperate well in the discussing or um to find a uh, the solution or to find to addressing challenges together Okay, thank you. And I hope uh, Kolka, you will get the answer. Uh, and everybody, if you have any question, you can drop in the comment and we will uh, go back to your question. But, but Bong, uh, say, huh? so in the upcoming event, the ASEAN, the first ASEAN Youth Dialogue, I mean, the Jews uh, from Cambodian and also other country, they will raise about the same challenges uh, about the ASEAN, uh, especially uh, in uh, youth as well. So how they avoid will be heard to the top management or top uh, the leader. So how 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 their voice could be heard though? Yeah, thank you for the question. Now, uh, like, so I need to explain you the template of this uh, program. Actually, uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the just delegate from uh, 11 country, including Cambodia and uh, South Korea, will break into a uh, different group and then they will discuss on different like topic a topic and they come up with the five uh, most applicable recommendation and then they will synthesize uh, that into one policy recommendation and then we, they will keep trying to polish it through uh, the program until uh, the last session of the event before the closing, we have the so-called the high level, uh, the dialogue between youth and the minister, uh, AMS uh, youth minister and high level representative from uh, a relevant uh, stakeholder and partner. And during that, uh, one representative of uh, the youth delegate of all the country will present the policy recommendation to the minister. And then the minister will have, AMS, the minister, uh, minister will have the opportunity to provide feedback and to discuss about this matter during the dialogue. That's how they will uh, interact with the uh, high level uh, uh, representative of the event. Okay, so so why do we need uh, the use voice bond to input in the, the policy making? Bond? Why do we need that? Uh, like I mentioned earlier the, about the beneficiary and the stakeholder. So far, just was one of the beneficiary of the policy. But now because of their dynamite, their smartness and so on, we, we need just input into policy to because, you know, uh, have you ever feel that, uh, not you, maybe uh, other generation, like they are trying to uh, collect all the void, they also have to use forum and so on and so forth to collect idea to improve the policy. They draft the policy and then they collect idea, the input from use to modify the version of the policy. And then they will, uh, you know, because just they are the direct, how to say, direct uh, 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 receiver of the uh, implementation of the policy. They have a big proportion among the population of the country. Like in Cambodia, we have about 30% plus. Uh, uh, and then they, with their big uh, 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 proportion, they have 
they will have the uh, the big voice in 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 the policy making process and be trying to uh, incorporate that into the policy making process from by turning them from beneficiary into stakeholder so that they can uh, be part of the policy and then they will not like you said earlier they will not blame uh, other people or the, the uh, specific entity for things to happen because you are already in play and you join it and why are you are blaming again yeah thank you yeah i mean we are uh, control or we are master of our, our life right yeah uh, yes yeah, saying bong su chit uh, she have mentioned like in asian we don't compete but we cooperate and we help each other to further and faster yeah actually under the one identity uh one community and one vision, ASEAN together, we try to work and we try to understand and uh, develop together. We don't compete, but we cooperate. Uh, thank you, Bong. So uh, let's say uh, we have to wait one minute. If uh, the audience doesn't have any question, uh, we will uh, uh, close our discussion today. Uh, wait for one minute if uh, the audience have any concern or question, Bong. Uh, Sampai, can I add something about the uh, competition as mentioned earlier by Bong Su Chit? Uh, yeah, actually, oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, actually, uh, we are not compete. Uh, we are trying to complement each other, like in debate. We are not compete. We are trying to complement in each other. We have one policy, one statement. We are trying to pinpoint what is the uh, pros and what is the con of the issue. We are complement each other. And as we mentioned earlier, just will be the future leaders. So during the discussion, they will become like they build up network and they know each other as a friend. And then later they can cooperate to, uh, you know, uh, when they become the future leader, they can co cooperate and then they can, you know, uh, join join hands to address the common challenges of the uh, region and uh, for the prosperity of the region as a whole. Yeah, well, uh, actually, I, I was the, uh, the, 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 the representative of youth uh, in the ASEAN interface in 2000. Uh, 20 by online that time and uh, we try to help each other we come from uh, uh, 10 country uh, uh, they have a uh, two two uh, from the different country and then we try to help and uh, express our idea because it's the discussion so we try to input uh, the policy and uh, uh, forward and uh, speak to the, the top management and I believe uh, the first ASEAN use dialogue will uh, follow it as well Am I wrong, uh, Ching Suang? Yes, yes, you are correct, Wong. Yeah. Oh, Ching Suang, any idea uh, for, you have any, any idea more to add? Um, no, um, maybe I should <laughs> please, like call a call off for uh, Cambodian youth to have more encouragement to apply for the uh, opportunity that we have in the space already. Yes. Okay, so uh, until now, we don't have any question uh, from our audience. Therefore, uh, Ching Song, so what will you do in the upcoming program or even to bring the great honor to yourself and also our uh, use, Cambodian use as well? What will you do? So, um, in order to uh, gain benefit from this program, in my opinion, the best way I would do is to put much effort as I can, because um, being a youth representative, I'm holding uh, our flag on the shoulders, and we uh, we are represent Cambodia as a whole, not just our uh, youth individually, and so we will need to put much effort as we can. Um, to um, the advantage of the country as well as the good image of our country. And we, uh, I, I will need to be well prepared, improve our knowledge and show the good manners that I can uh, get the best version of myself. 
Yeah, uh, thank you. We have to put our effort as much as possible, right? To gain uh, our great honor. Uh, you are not going to present about yourself, but uh, Cambodian as a whole. Uh, 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 we have uh, talked a lot about the beautiful of the program and also the advantage, but uh, actually this is the first time for the uh, Cambodian to host the first Asian uh, dialogue. So any challenge for you or your teamwork? Could, could you write something about that? Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, the first batch is always the most difficult one, you know, to pave the way. And uh, there are two main uh, challenge or uh, bottleneck. The first one is about the classification of role between the organizer, as I mentioned, uh, not I mentioned, maybe I haven't mentioned, uh, because the uh, the first Asian Jewish dialogue is jointly organized by the, uh, the Ministry of Education, Jewish and Sport of the Kingdom of Cambodia, and also uh, the Asian Secretariat under the sponsorship by the government of the, uh, the, uh, the Republic of Korea. So because of this, uh, unclear clarification of role between the organizer, between Moise and uh, ASIC. Uh, so it leads to some uh, redundant uh, job and some unclear uh, issue that we need to uh, have a, a long discussion to solve the problem. That's one. And the second one is about the uncertainty of the COVID-19. Like uh, in two, uh, like, in three weeks, three, four weeks ago, the situation was under control, completely under control. It's quiet and peace. Everyone start to back to uh, normal. But then, you know, uh, COVID-19 pop up again and we have uh, to be alert on that issue. And, and for the COVID-19, we have to go through, uh, you know, uh, many health protocol as, uh, uh, that are in place and uh, this also lead to uh, some kind of uh, uh, difficult uh, situation for us to organize the event because we will conduct, uh, actually the event will be uh, carried out in two phases. One is uh, the virtual departure program that will be, uh, the, to be held from 18 to 20 July, 2022. And then we have the physical one, the on-site program uh, to be held uh, on uh, 25 to uh, 26 uh, July 2022 in Siem Reap province. So that uh, we need to uh, be careful because of uh, the prison of uh, COVID-19. So there are two uh, challenges so far. Thank you so much. Okay, thank, thank you, Mong. Uh, besides a beautiful uh, event, there's a lot of obstacles uh, and challenges for uh, the organizer as well. And uh, the question from Mong Chit, yeah, that is the first time that Okun uh, Mong Chit that asked the question to me, like, what did you learn uh, from being a participant last time in the youth interface with Asian leader? Uh, actually, I was a, a, a representative that time, and I learned a lot of things from uh, joining that program. And the first one is about the protocol. Actually, in the Asian, we have a lot of protocol that we can adapt. And we learn how to communicate with the other Asian member state, uh, with the Hay Excellency, and also with other youth as well. And the second thing is about uh, uh, the, 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 the networking. Actually, uh, it will be great uh, that I learn from that uh, because uh, I have communicated with the other Asian member youth. Yeah. And in the end of this month, I will be at Singapore for four days. And uh, yeah, I have uh, some friends in Singapore because of, uh, I joined that uh, program that time as well. And we will uh, say, yeah, something together, have fun after the program. And uh, also, I have learned how to be a good diplomacy as well. Actually, we are just an informal use. Yeah, we can speak whatever we want. But when we represent as a Cambodian use, we not only represent ourselves, but as a whole of uh, Cambodian Jews. So what we act, what we say, we have to make sure that it will benefit to our country and to our nation. And uh, the question from Bong Chit as well uh, to uh, Ching Suang, are you ready for the next week? Yes, Bong, of course I'm ready. Not only me, but other four uh, candidates, I can, uh, instead of saying of them, they are ready too. 
Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, I think uh, Bong Chip will uh, be warm because of your smile today. Okay, uh, before we end our discussion, or uh, any last message from Bong Seha to our audience or use? Uh, yeah, thank you, Sampit, uh, for your last question. And it's the big one, of course, uh, the message. Um, I just want to uh, uh, remind our Cambodian youth that I, I would repeat, break the ice, our traditional uh, eyes. Don't be shy, be confident. You are smart and you're dynamite to go for what you want. And you know, uh, small things always make big change. Start small, you don't need to aim big, too big. You can start from zero, you know, every step before you reach 100, 100 you have to start from zero, one, two. So every small thing, small uh, uh, start uh, will make a big change. Small contribution will make a big change. Thank you. So just yes, break the eye together. Okay, thank you, Bong Seha, for a fruitful and a beautiful message to uh, our participation and audience. Uh, how about Chi Suang? Any last message or commitment? Yeah, you're gonna do the best. <laughs> so not uh, so far from Bong Seha. Uh, just like Bong Seha. Yes, I would like to encourage uh, youth today to act today for the better future uh, in tomorrow. Okay, uh, thank you, Ching Suang. And uh, I, have, I would like to say sorry for everybody. And uh, if you have any mistake, uh, because it is just the second time as well for me to host the reflection and the discussion. But uh, anyway, we are the representative use of one use. We should commit ourselves and put our effort to be a great future leader. Our opportunity don't blame the outside factor like government, like society, but have to ask ourselves what we have done to our society. The opportunity is in our hand, but how can we grab it and catch it? Thank you, Bong, and have a good luck. And thank you for your time and uh, uh, for your sharing today as well, Bong Seha and uh, Chi Suang. Have a good day and have a good night uh, for everybody. And thank you for your spending time to uh, listen our discussion. Have a good day. Bye bye, Bong. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, wait, 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 uh,